Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another video of mine where I'm going to show you the new uh, Delta Rising ship that is called the Bentham Assault Cruiser and I hope I pronounced that the right way. So here we go. Q intro. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to enter the game with my favorite character that I like to play and then we'll take it out of there. Now I wasn't really lucky to get this ship from all the lock boxes that I opened in the previous video, you can see that. Um, so I'm going to do the best next thing and that's just buy it from the exchange. And let's see how much it costs. 107 million. I have about 114 million, so that's, you know, that's okay. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I put, um, I did a search in YouTube for this cruiser and it didn't show up. So I'm like, I don't want to deprive you guys from watching this video and watching this um, uh, review of this ship. And maybe later on the on the video, you can watch the, the, the ship actually in action. And that's actually a good thing because I just let me just paste it over here. Oh, that's not it. That's something totally wrong. Let me just search this copy here and then paste it there and then make a search. And as you can see, there isn't actually a search about this ship. And that's kind of weird, right? Uh, there is something like this from five months ago, a year ago. I'm sorry, you guys, my um, my YouTube is set to um, Dutch by default, so everything which you see here is like the Dutch language. That doesn't mean anything, but you know, just a heads up. But let's talk about the Bentham Assault Cruiser, and I hope I'm saying it right. The Bentham, 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 I don't know. Anyway, so this ship is a tier 6 ship. Uh, you can basically every faction uh, you can get the ship for uh, from Federation, from Klingons or Admirals, whatever you want to play with. Um, basic hull is, uh, what does it say basic hull? It doesn't say anywhere. Um, the hull strength at level 40 is 37.5 and, and it goes all the way up to 6. Uh, from level 60 you get 50,000 hit points, that's nice. Um, um, yeah, shield modifier 1.25, you have a crew of 840, you have weapons 4 on the front and 4 on the aft, and you have 4 device slots, bridge officer stations, you have uh, 4 tactical, 5 engineering and 2 science. Now remember this is a cruiser so it's going to be engineering heavy obviously. You have a base turn rate of 10.5, impulse modifier inertia, yada yada yada. And as all cruisers, it comes equipped with the communication array. So you have strategic maneuvering, shield frequency modulator, weapon system efficiency, and attract fire. Now this ship has something special that comes across with um, four passive abilities and one active ability. And I think this one, the rapid repair, is the active ability you can toggle on and off as like just like skills, like it has a cooldown. But more of that uh, when we open the ship so you can see that in action for yourself. And the rest you just need to unlock. And I uh, I hope I can unlock all five of them. And so I can show you guys this one. But it's going to take me a bit. And I don't know if, I, if you guys want to uh, stay in this video. Watch it. Because it might be like an hour long or something like that. And I don't want to put you guys through that. So anyway, let's go back to STO. Let's do another search. Maybe it's cheaper right now. And as you can see, it's a little bit cheaper. <laughs> Somebody just undercut this guy's um, assault cruiser by, I don't know, by 70, uh, by 700,000-ish. And that's actually how it goes. If you 
want this ship when you open a lockbox and you want to get rid of it really fast just on the cut the guy that is like you know the cheapest one and that's actually a good thing so um 106 million i have to pay for this cruiser just to show you guys because i as you can see i am a tactical character i'm playing a tactical character and tactical character with a cruiser it's not it's not one of the best builds obviously but um sure just just for youtube right just for youtube 106 there we go and did we get it laggy 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 yep there we go now we um it's in my inventory that's there get access bank and bank now i forgot to put some of my sets on some other ships so i can show you guys the mako oh wait a minute i did something wrong here there we go uh this is the aegis mako is here the ages set i want because that's the nice visuals that you have the Mako you already saw the Borg you already saw and this one you did not see and that's the Breen set guys for those that are interested now don't mind all the clutters and all the junk that I have in my bank because you know playing a long time and you know you you need to hold stuff that you might need later on and then you you know you don't you don't you don't use them anymore so you need to put them somewhere and that's just your bank now we need to find a ship that does not have any kind of shields so we can put this junk let's put it over there just discard this normal and put the ages set here oh should put it at the right slot, obviously. Or it, would, or it will not work. What does this guy have? Mm, what is this? The Gemini Deflector Dish. Let's put it on this guy. Can we tender use? No, that's not the right one. No, that's. Yeah, let's put it on here, this guy. Shield go there, deflectors goes there, and impulse goes there. Okay, so let's come all the way here and then right click use. Wow, that I, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that thing over there. <laughs> Give me a random name. Uh, I usually go with, uh, for my ships, I usually go with uh, three letter uh, names. Um, help me out, what shall I, what shall I name it? You know what, just go with something easy. USS Paul. No, USS Pod, that's even better, right? USS Pod. <laughs> It's just a name, it doesn't really matter. Now, do I have it equipped? Uh, no, I don't, it's not. So let's go there and select our ship. Then we can go to space. Uh, but, 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 where is but? But, there we go, ready. And as you can see over here, we have um, four passive masteries and one that's going to be um, a uh, clickable and it's not the one that I told you guys how about that we have uh, absorption hull plating we have rapid repairs that's the one that I thought but it's not enhanced hull plating uh, armored hull and the fifth one is load viral torpedo team bridge officer ability grants torpedo buff and it's passive it's not even activated okay 
Loads final torpedo for 30 seconds, causes next torpedo attack to disable the target for 5 seconds. To target disable for 5 seconds, one viral torpedo is loaded. After use, load viral torpedo is put on cooldown for 10 seconds. Okay, cool. Now, as you can see, hull is 50, yada yada yada. That's obviously going to change with each character, so I'm not even going to show you guys that. Because it's kind of a little bit cheating right now. Because every character is going to have like a different set of numbers. So we're just going to go up in space. And I'm going to show you guys the different sets of shield engines and deflector dishes. Loading, loading, loading. And there we go. It's kind of dark. Can't even see the ship. And obviously my tray is like messed up. So I just pressed P and I'm gonna put full impulse on number one to toggle. And it's kind of dark the way that I'm going. I'm gonna go somewhere where it's a little bit lighter. That's usually towards the sun. Like, okay, this is far enough. Now, I'm going to rearrange my HUD and I'm going to show that. And I'm going to click on the right mouse button to auto-fire all of my weapons. As you can see, it's auto-fire, auto-fire, auto-fire. Everything is auto-fire. And then I'm going to hide it again because I really don't want to see that when I'm playing. So that's good. I'm not even going to change anything over here. What I'm going to show you guys is the bridge officer slots, right? So you have a universal slot with two. You have a lieutenant commander uh, tactical with three abilities. You have a lieutenant tactical with two abilities. Command engineer station with four. And lieutenant engineering or science station with two. Right? Cool. So let us discard the normal, the standard one that it gives you. What the hell happened there? Hide weakness. Automated reinforcements. Huh? That was weird, right? Is that because I just dropped the shields? That's a weird thing. Anyway, you can see the powers over here. Uh, when it's like standard, it comes with. But it's. What the hell is that? Nice. It's doing that by, on its own, guys. Don't know what it is. Is that like a passive ability or is it like an active ability I can push or toggle? We have this. That's something new. Uh, uh, rock and roll is kind of a fun ability to have. Wow, that he's doing that on his own. I'm not pushing any buttons, guys. Anyway, let's go and put on the um, deflector dishes. Now, the adaptive Mako is the first one to go, right? All the way there, and that's... The adaptive Mako, that's the visualization of the adaptive Mako set. Let me just hide my hub so you can see it better. Nice glowy patterns on the hull. Right, that's cool. Okay, it's showing up the hub again. And the next one is the Aegis set. Uh, where's my Aegis? There is the Aegis and the shields. Now, do keep in mind that this is the old Aegis. I did not 
update this or I craft a new Aegis set because I'm not there yet. So this is the old version of the Aegis set. As you can see, it's good. I like the visuals. And a lot of people are also liking the new, uh, the old, uh, not the new, the old, um, um, uh, what's this thing called? The the the, um, the engines wake, you know, the impulse engines wake that it leaves behind the, the trail. And when you're at full, uh, when you're full stop, it doesn't leave anything. Just like that. Okay, that's the ages set. Uh, then we're gonna get to the Borg set. Now that's the Borg set. Bam! Look at that. Again, a lot of junk on the deflector dish. A lot of the junk over there. From here, it kind of looks like a cockroach, right? <laughs> from this perspective, from this side. Um, the count, no, not the counter command. This is the, what's this thing called again? Oh, it is the counter command set. Yeah. You can see the impulse weak. Dyson Sphere set. Uh, Dyson Command Engines and all that. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I like this part as well. This is like, it's like boned out, you know? It's like... Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. When it changes from night to day... Oh, that's so cool, the visualization of it. Oh, that's so nice. Nice, nice cryptic. Nice. I like this one a lot. Um, the gem had R set. Gem had R. I don't think anybody's going to play gem had R set with this kind of uh, ship, but the Gemadar set has like a special ability, anti-proton sweep. <laughs> That's cool, right? Uh, Gemadar set, and uh, what's this? The Mako. Uh, Mako and Mako shields. There is the Mako set with those visuals like like when you're in water kind of thing you know it shines through it's nice i like it it's underneath the station and let's see the new car set oh that's the wrong one no, that's the wrong one as well. Where is my Nukara engine? That one. And that one. From night to day. Tonight again. Day again. <laughs> and Nukara. After the Nukara, we're gonna go for the Omega Force. Omega Force and the Omega Force. It's kind of funny, like the 
the engine wake from the Omega Force is like it's always on fire, like it's on rockets, <laughs> rockets in space. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what else do we need? The Riemann set. The Riemann set has some nice visuals, man. I really like this part. It's like, you know, it's like darkish, greenish, glowyish. <laughs> Everything is there. It's just awesome. Okay, that's the next set is going to be the Romulan set. Uh, no, that's the uh, Riemann. No, I want Romulan set. And Romulan shields. There we go, Romulan shields. Look at that. Romulans, obviously, green everywhere. And this part I like, it's like, it's like their, their eyes, you know, it's looking at you, it's coming towards you. <laughs> uh, what else did we not, uh, Solane shields, uh, deflector engines, and then the shields, I always get confused with those things. like blackish totally blackish over here when you, it's like at when it's you know at the dark side and at the light side you know it's totally blackish and what else do we have the breen set the breen set that i did not show on the other ship wow look at that that's some nice visuals right there let me just clear away the HUD that's some nice visuals over there I think I want to make a screenshot for the thumbnail for YouTube for this video on this thing let's see F12 a couple of times and this is a hint for you guys that also doing videos on YouTube. If you want to make screenshots, just hit the button F12 and it's going to automatically make a screenshot for you guys. And I'm going to do that right about now, now. Good. I'm liking that. F12 again. And the last set is the Riemann set, but you already saw the Riemann set um the updated version and the visualization doesn't change with the old version or with the updated version so i'm just going to leave it with the breen set okay so that's cool that's cool now as i already told you guys four weapon slots on the front four on the aft four devices uh, five engineering consoles, uh, two uh, science consoles, four tactical consoles. You know, this could be a good tactical ship as well because it has a lot of en uh, engineering consoles. You know, you can tank a lot. doesn't have a lot of science consoles, so you're not going to be able to do any you know, science abilities. You know, it's not going to be heavy science. But, you know, tactical f with four console slots, it's okay. I mean, it's not that bad, right? It's not that bad at all. And uh, let's talk about something else. Specialization, well, that's uh, for each different. So I'm not going to go through reputations because that's for each and every one of us. It's different. So let's go visit the Starship Bridge because each ship, 
uh, these days come equipped with their own uh, bridge and I think this one has yes I think this one has the unique bridge as well is this one is a custom bridge just for the Benthan I hope I'm pronouncing that right again let's see map as like a small map a small bridge area we can't open those doors because those are closed oh nice so you have okay so we have that's kind of like a wee screen oh no yeah that's like a wee screen and we have here some other controls that's for the pilot wheel and screen I guess and this is like where the captain sits he has like three screens these are some science station slots, access uh, library files, uh, access account bank. Let me just remove that. You know what? Let me just remove the HUD as well. So you guys can see we have some nice chandelier over there. It's kind of hanging right on top top of the chair that's not really good if this was a Klingon ship somebody is definitely gonna mess around with that thing falling on the captain's head if this is the captain's chair right if this is a captain's chair then that chandelier is placed right on top of me and basically somebody is gonna if they want to do some, you know, taking over the ship, that the first thing what they're going to sabotage to follow my ship. And it's like, hey, you know, wasn't me. But anyway, moving on. What's this? Did we, did we come here? This is a console I can't activate. Okay. All right. I need to show the HUD. The contact duty officers. Cool. And I think I can sit here as well. Yep. So I can be the pilot of the ship as well. Alrighty. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you guys this ship in action. I'm going to queue up a pug for Borg Disconnect. And I hope this is the easy version and that's the elite version. No, that's that's something else. Oh crap! Oh no. Anyway, um, let's find something that is space oriented. That is not that hard anymore. Um, infected the conduit or normal version. And I just realized something. My tray is not set up. My bridge officers is not set up, so it's going to be fun. <laughs> and I do apologize for the grid that I'm going to join. Because I'm just going to set up. Oh crap. I'm just going to set something up really fast. Oh, not the same guy again. Uh, this guy and that guy. Cool. That's that's it. That's how you do your bridge officers. Now this is a ship review, so it's not it's not gonna count really hard, right? So oh, my tree is like messed up. Anyway, so I can show you guys this power. Uh, I can use it on the cube. Hey cube, take that. What happened? Come on, build up. I think this power needs to build up or something. No? Boom! What did it do? Gravity wheel is not mine. I think I did something, but... We need to start firing, because this is not good. Now, I do have a... Where is it? Where is it? There. 
a overlay of DPS in in STO and we are only four of us are doing DPS. Where is the other guy? Why isn't he fighting? So that guy is not fighting at all. That's not nice. But I was the weakest link. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys this uh, rock and roll kind of ability. I think you, some of you have already seen it. And some of you don't. It's going to make your ship like uh, roll uh, uh, clockwise. Check it out. Look at that. It does, isn't that awesome or what? It just rolled my ship. This is so awesome. Anyway, it can get back to the battle at hand. Did the guy start engaging? Yeah. Now, obviously, I am the one, the last one, because I'm not doing any damage. My consoles is not set. I have nothing, and nothing at all. Even my weapons are like, like you know, the standard version Mark Ten. So, the only thing I have working for me is just my passive abilities, and that's it. Um, I can activate some of those abilities. Not gonna do that. What's this? Oh, that's that pulse thing. Okay. So we're not we're not doing that bad. I mean, obviously I am. Six hundred, seven hundred DPS. That's so bad. That is so bad. But this is a ship review, guys. This is not how to set up this ship for its full potential, obviously. So, I do apologize for all those cars. I'm not even going to try to pronounce those names because it's kind of weird. And kill those guys. Go away, ops. Now, hopefully, we can use this one on the last cube or at the gate. You know what? I'm going to use it against the transformer because. Can we fire on it? Everything is down? Yeah, it's going down. What's it doing? What's it doing? It's building up, it's building up. Boom! Boom! It did a lot of damage. 3000 or something. That's that torpedo thing, right? Let me read it because it's it's crazy. Uh, modulated chrono old blah, blah blah pulse. Chill harden and build charge. Target cells up to thirty seconds each time you are hit by energy damage you gain chromo electric charge. Reduces damage to shield. Uh, yada 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 yada. Anytime you move all shields from self to emitter by also uh, disable foe. Yada yada. Okay, so this is like a buff. Oh crap, I need to continue the fight. Sorry, team. I'm really sorry. This is a ship review. I'm really sorry for you guys. Because I don't have enough DPS to make this a normal, you know, good success run. What are we doing there? I'm going to show you thing, this thing again. Because I just love this ability, that rock and roll. Look, it's just... 
Oh, that's so awesome, man. That's so awesome. I wish they had this thing implanted a long time ago. Because this thing is just awesome. Let me just call some pirates so they can do some DPS. Because clearly I'm not doing something at all on this mission. What is this? Exotic probably don't need that. Oh, we have these things. Crap. Why did I not push those things? Good. Good, good, good. You see that? My DPS went to 1,300 and some change. That's nice. Totally forgot I had a lot of other skills as well on this side. Anyway, moving on. Those guys are doing some nice DPS. This guy, this... Uh, I think it's this guy. Is he on the scimitar? No, what kind of ship is that? What kind of ship are you flying, dude? I thought, no, that's the shuttle. That's not that. Uh... Bam bam bam. Put some radiation on you. It's going good, right? I mean, it's ship review. It's not a, uh, a how to review, right? And this ability. Is comes equipped with this console. The uh, let me try to pronounce that. The Polaric Chrono Chromo Electric Modulator. Holy crap! Try saying that five times in a row. Right. Anyway, so this is uh, infected on normal version with a benthol assault cruiser. And we got the reward. And we did that without any consoles. With just the standard Mark 10 crap that just that each ship comes equipped with and just the normal shields at every every um um no not even Mark 10. This is the Mark 11 Marine set. But I didn't did I did not do any damage, so I did not take any damage, that's obviously and i hope you guys had fun with um this video because i had a lot of fun making it and showing it to you guys and if you did if you went all the way throughout the video just give it a thumbs up or a like it's not gonna cost you anything thank you for your time and see you on the next video take care